What's up, everybody? It's your boy Stevie the Black. It's S T E V W E the Black. I'm back, and I'm here to give you my Eagles and Buccaneers predictions video today. Ah, yes, video number three or four, I believe, with my world championship. It feels good to be the champ. Feels good. You know, so many people doubted us against the Atlanta Falcons but we still won they were fully healthy and we we didn't have Nigel Bradham who was suspended we didn't have Alshon Jeffrey who was hurt we didn't have Mac Hollins who's hurt we didn't have Carson Wentz who's hurt and we still won the game how is that possible well it's because all we do is win. That's right. All we do is win. And I wouldn't even be surprised that after this past Sunday, after what the Buccaneers did to the New Orleans Saints, a lot of people Super Bowl pick. I wouldn't be surprised if they if some people picked the Buccaneers against us either. That would be dumb and stupid of them, but hey, everyone's entitled to their opinion. And look, don't get me wrong. Their win on Sunday was indeed impressive. Probably the upset of the week. Had the Browns beat the Steelers, I would have said that, but they ended in a draw. So, the very most Browns way possible to end a losing streak ever, but it is what it is. But, the Bucks beating the Saints, in New Orleans no less. Had they beaten them in Tampa Bay, you would say, oh, okay, well, you know, they were at home. You know, so, okay, I can see them winning. But they beat them in New Orleans. That That's something right there that was shocking. And it, it, you just didn't expect. But here's the thing. Even after all that, Fitz Magic is alive and well. The, they're still not going to win. They're not going to beat the reigning, defending, undisputed Super Bowl champions they're not gonna beat us simply put because we have a better defense than the Saints and even last year when the Saints defense had improved it wasn't really nothing special and I say that because for years the Saints defense was trash and bottom of the barrel so really there was no place else to go but up and they improved, no doubt they were proven they were a good defense. They were. But how good? I don't know. I have to go back and look at the numbers. But just from my memory, they weren't all that good. But they, they were good. They were good. I don't want to be disrespectful. They were good. But they weren't Minnesota's defense. They weren't Jacksonville's defense. They weren't the Rams' defense. Heck, they weren't even our defense. And that's the, those are the four top defenses in the league. They weren't even Denver's defense, who, let's be honest, taking a step back over the years from their Super Bowl run a couple of years ago. And their defense is still better than theirs. But all that being said, you know, Mike Evans and O.J. Howard and Deshaun Jackson, who, who might not play, he has a concussion, we'll see. You know, who's a real eagle killer, just real eagle killer. And then, you know, you got former Eagles, Bo Allen, Super Bowl champ, Bo Allen and Vinny Curry, you know. But even all of that, I just don't see how the Buccaneers beat the Eagles. I just don't. Do you honestly think that Fitch Patrick can replicate what he did the week before now he could pull a Nick Foles but I don't think he can I honestly don't think he can I you know Fitz J Gerald Fitzpatrick is no Nick Foles and Nick Foles who is our starting quarterback again will be better don't forget he is the reigning Super Bowl MVP Fitzpatrick has played some good game, but he ain't ever played that good. I'm just, I'm just being honest here, and so I have the Eagles winning 35 to 21. I think that's a good score. You know, a lot of people think, 
oh man, it's going to be so hot. You know, the Eagles won't be able to handle it. Look, I live in Florida, okay? And does it get hot? Yes, it does. It gets hot. But people are acting like they about to play a game of football in the desert. It's not that hot. Um, Does it get pretty hot down here? Yes, it does. But I remember years ago, I believe it was in Dallas, Andy Reid had the players drink some pickle juice. And, you know, that cooled their bodies off and everything. I don't know what Doug Peterson's planning on doing. Maybe he'll do that. Maybe he'll do, uh, um, maybe he'll have them eat some ice cream before the game or in, or whatever. I don't know. But I know Doug Peterson has a plan. They've been planning this. And, like I said, I trusted Nick Foles. I believe Nick Foles has a better game than last week. The offense struggle. Heck, a lot of offenses struggle. So, 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 including in our own division, a lot of offenses struggle. So, I don't want to hear this bull crap. Oh, I don't know about the Eagles. They look kind of shaky. The Steelers look shaky. Uh, who else looks shaky? Um, the Cowboys look shaky, but we already knew that. The Giants didn't look all that impressive, but they were going against Jacksonville's defense. So, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, the Minnesota Vikings barely beat. The uh, 49ers and Jimmy G looked like trash. So, I mean, a lot of people struggled this week. A lot of people did. So, I mean, I, I expect Nick Foles to play better. I expect Zach Ertz not to drop some easy passes. I expect Dallas Geyer to plant his feet in the end zone if he has a touchdown pass thrown his way. You know, I expect this defense to be a lot better. Oh, man, Ronald Darby was looking good. You know, hopefully he's looking more like his rookie year and, and not – couple years ago um i i expect big things and i think the eagles will be fine speaking of which the reports being that our boy wentz number 11 himself just might be available for week three and i gotta be honest with you i'm excited i i really am you know i love me some nick falls I, i've always have you know i was sad to see him go when chip kelly cut him or traded him a couple years ago I was glad he came back, and obviously the man won us the Super Bowl. Why this man gets so much disrespect from the media and from his own fan base, I'll never know. But I love me some Nick Foles. So if we see, if we get to see Nick Foles ball out one last time, you know, against the Buccaneers, like I said, he has a good track record. He's 2-0 against them in Tampa, mind you. Then you know what? I wouldn't mind it at all. And, and I... I I'm not even sweating it. I, I'm, I'm really not. Now, every game you go in and you don't take um, any people lightly because they're going to give you the best because you're the Super Bowl champions. And most likely, you're going to be their Super Bowl. Real people want to see how they stack up against you. But, honestly, I think we'll be fine. So, um, what, what am I going to say? Honestly, I think we'll be fine. I think we win the game 35-21. to 21. And um, it'll be it'll, it'll 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 be on to the next game. Speaking of which, before I go, um, I want to get this out there. Um, every week now, I'm going to be doing a video called the NFC East Report. Basically, I'm going to be going over how this how this will work is after every prediction video that I do for the Eagles. I will go over all the other games in the, of the teams in the NFC East, and I'll give my predictions. I won't go in depth, but I'll give my predictions of who I think will win. And then, and after after all four teams play, whether that be Monday or Sunday or whatever, I will do a video called the NFC East Report and talk about the games, um, talk about all the other games, and see where the Eagles rank in the division and how all the other teams do. Um, just, just, this is just me trying to expand, you know, get more content out there and, and talk to you guys. And, 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 you know, I've talked to other fan bases in the past, but you know, uh, just, let's just try to get moving forward and, uh, do some more videos and talk with you guys. So I will be doing that. So to start it off, um, the Redskins will be facing the Indianapolis Colts this week. Um, Andrew Lux looked from what I saw and heard, cause I didn't watch the game. Um, I think that the uh, I think the I think Andrew Luck, from what I heard, looked good, but they don't have a defense. And if the Redskins play like they did against the Cardinals last week, then now Andrew Luck is better than Sam Bradford. Let's just put that out there. But 
If he does, I expect the Redskins to win that game and go 2-0. and And then the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants face each other in Sunday Night Football. And I'm going to have to go with the New York Giants because I think they're a much better team. Much, much better team than the Dallas Cowboys. Don't get me wrong. I was watch, I watched both of those games from start to finish. The New York Giants and Jaguars and the Carolina Panthers and the uh, Cowboys. And the Cowboys defense looked good. I'm, I'm going to be honest. They looked good. But I don't think, but obviously they have no weapons other than Zeke. And the offensive line is not what it used to be. And the defense of the Giants is pretty good. So I'm going to have to go with the Giants. Plus, I don't think they have anyone to stop Odell. Um, they might slow up Shaquan Barkley. But then again, he is a rookie. So, you know, you never know. But I think the Giants go 1-1. One and one. I think the Redskins go 2-1. and one. Oh, I'm sorry. I think the Giants go 1-1. One and one. I think the Redskins go 2-0. and oh, And I think the Cowboys will be 0-2. Oh and, and that, my friends, will put a big old smile on my face. So with that being said, that's pretty much about it. Remember, I have the Eagles beating the uh, Tampa Bay Bucks 35 to 21, and I have the Redskins beating the Colts, and I have the Giants beating the Cowboys, and that's pretty much about it. And if you're not down with that, I've just got three words for you: fly, Eagles, fly, and remember who you're reigning defending undisputed Super Bowl champions are and if and or not and if Carson Wentz does indeed come back next week whoo I might have to get a second belt to put over my shoulder because feels good to be the champ because we got a real good shot if he does come back peace out y'all